What do you think Clayton Kershaw will do and should do? I think the Dodgers are going to extend his contract. He's got two years and $65 million left on the contract. Now, he's not going to get that average annual value from the Dodgers or anybody else down the road here. But this is pretty much his chance to use leverage for probably the last time. You think about where his leverage might be two years from now, the way his stuff is trending down. Uh, he won't have a lot of leverage then. So, you know, the Yankees did this with Sabathi in 2011. They added one year and $30 million to his contract. It, that, he's not going to get that kind of dollars. Sabathi is coming off a better year in 11 than Kershaw is 18. But listen, Clayton's an institution. He's an icon with the Dodgers. He's still an effective pitcher. He's not an elite pitcher in terms of stuff, but he can still win games for you. The back is certainly an issue. Um, I don't think with his stuff right now, Dan, he should be thinking about going to the American League. I know the Texas Rangers have been floated as a possibility. I think they work this thing out and, you know, just kind of play with the years and added dollars here as an extension rather than, you know, a full-blown brand-new contract. What about Manny Machado's future? Don't think he's going back to the Dodgers. Um, I think he did cost himself some money here with the postseason, just the way he responded you know, admitting that he doesn't hustle, you know, spiking people at first base unnecessarily, not running out balls, a whole laundry list. Here's what one manager told me, Dan, that Machado is going to get paid. I think we all know that. But he might have cost himself years because when you think about a 10-year deal, and that's what we've seen for somebody in their mid-20s, who's a, you know, a great player like Machado, you're making that guy your franchise player. That means you're invested in a guy for a 10-year period where he's going to influence all the younger players in your organization, be the face of your franchise. I think this postseason gave some teams, maybe many teams, pause about whether they want to make Manny Machado that kind of franchise player. Take him for the next three or four years at just incredible dollars, you know, $35 million to $40 million. Yeah, I think teams might be willing to de- do that. But I, I think that long-term investment is going to scare a lot of people. What about Dave Roberts' future with the Dodgers? Is he safe? I think he's safe. I had heard that they were working on an extension even before the postseason began. Uh, Listen, that's a tough team to manage, right? I mean, you have the influences from above and below. Above, you have Hmm. very analytically inclined front office, a lot of people there with experience, very hands-on. And below, you have a very tough clubhouse whether it's, you know, the platoon system that they run. We're trying to get everyday players part-time roles and and keep them happy and productive. Or some of the personalities, you know, a Puig, a Peterson, uh, a Machado. It's a difficult group. I thought he did a really good job. You know, listen, three straight years he's been to the at least the NLCS, twice the World Series. Um, I think he's going to come back. Dan, listen, a lot of people got on him in the in the postseason for his managing moves. I mean, we do that anyway, right? The games are so hope pride for but I think he did a good job with the bullpen uses. The problem for me is the Dodgers didn't hit, and that made every pitching move critical that he made when it didn't work out. They didn't, just didn't hit enough to withstand one move that didn't work out. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.